dear students in in today's problem of railway engineering we will solve different types of problems related to railway engineering so start with the problem what we have to calculate super elevation maximum permissible speed and length of transition curve for what for bg section for which three degree curve is given and there are three different speeds are also given in the problem as maximum sanction speed 110 km per hour equilibrium speed as 80 km per hour and book speed as 50 km per hour these are the three speeds so let us start with the solution the given data is d equal to 3 degrees the three speeds are represented by capital V okay so the first step is radius of curve or radius of curvature which we have done in the last problem same we have to do here capital R equal to 1750 by D this is the formula for calculating radius of curvature now first is completed next is second step equilibrium super elevation for 80 km per hour which is given in the problem we have the formula to calculate equilibrium super elevation as g v square by 127 r in this v is 80 km per hour so substitute we will get equilibrium super elevation next step third in third step same we have to repeat as of 80 km per hour same implement here for 110 km per hour gv square by 127 r okay next in step 4 we have to calculate and efficiency which can be find out by substituting equilibrium super elevation for 110 km per hour minus equilibrium super elevation for 80 km which is uh, also can be uh, uh, right as step 3 minus step 2 for our understanding so after solving you get 134.6 mm which is greater than 100 mm 100 is the maximum permissible speed which is given as per standards so we have to take 100 in our consideration if we get less than 100 mm we have to take that one okay next actual can actual can can be calculated by equilibrium super elevation value for 110 km per hour minus cd we get can't actual value and which is more than 165 mm also so in this step same as per standards 165 mm is maximum for actual can we are taking 165 mm if we get less than 165 mm we will take that value okay next step fifth in this step what we have to do we have to calculate equilibrium super elevation for 50 km per hour as per earlier step 1 step 2 and step 3 for 110 km and 80 km what we have calculated for step 2 and 3 same we have to substitute here also next step 6 in this what we, we are calculating is can't access why it can be calculated actual can minus equilibrium super elevation for 50 km per hour so we are getting 106 mm which is greater than 75 mm so here also the standard value is 75 mm maximum as per irc so we will take 75 mm in our consideration but we have to calculate actual can 
which we have to provide is 75 plus plus equilibrium super elevation value for 50 km per hour that is 59 so after adding both we get 134 mm which can be round off up to 135 mm every, uh, uh, remember this every time right we have to take multiple high or higher multiple value of 5 always in railway engineering step 6 is completed next move towards next step step 7 in this step we are calculating safe speed why it can be calculated by the formula root of ca plus cd actual cant plus cant efficiency into capital r that is radius of curvature by 13.76 this is the formula for calculating safe speed by this we get safe speed value 99.6 km per hour which can be taken up to 100 km per hour next step is eighth in this uh, step what we are doing we have to calculate maximum permissible speed why it can be found out it can be found out as the least of the following there are the conditions okay on what basis first is maximum is permissible speed that is 110 kilometer this is provided in a question okay. we are writing first condition here next condition is safe speed which we have calculated that is 100 km per hour therefore the least value between these two is our permissible speed so 100 we are taking as a maximum permissible speed value 100 km per hour next coming towards next step in this step what we are calculating we have to calculate the length of transition curve by using the formulas as earlier we have discussed in the previous problems there are three conditions and three formulas among these three formulas value which is higher we have to take for transition curve next therefore super elevation to be provided is 135 mm the maximum permissible speed is 100 km per hour and length of transition curve is 108 meters so you have to remember that first step is always same in most of the problems radius of curvature and remaining things like uh, uh, calculation of uh, length of transition curve three formulas always you have to remember and from those which is maximum we have to take for our design next coming towards next type of problem in this problem what we have to do we have to calculate maximum permissible speed for same bg that is broad gauge group a route for which the data is given degree of curvature as 1 degree e as 80 mm length of transition curve as 120 meters and maximum speed is given as 160 km per hour so coming towards the solution as i have told you we have to calculate radius of curvature every time as the first step next coming towards second step safe speed we have to calculate in this step 2 we have discussed in the earlier problem also safe speed this is the formula uh, v equal to 0 0.27 under root of ca plus cd into r here cd is 100 which is assumed okay and ca value is 80 which is equal to e which is given in the question just we have to substitute and get the answer this this much we are getting next coming towards next step in this step what we have to do we are we are calculating transition length of curve 
so first there are two conditions in this step first condition is rate of gain of Kent okay so the formula is Vm equal to 198 L by E we have the values we are substituting we get this much next next condition is the rate of gain of Kent deficiency remember this in first case it is only Kant and in this case it is Kant deficiency this is the difference now we have the formula Vm equal to 198L by Cd this is the formula we have the values just substitute ok next third condition in this step is Kant gradient it can be calculated 1 in this is the length which is given in the question into 1000 by E we get 1 in 1500 this is step 3rd now move towards next step this is step 4 in this step we have to calculate maximum permissible speed how it can be calculated as we have done in the earlier steps or uh, in the problems that uh, one, uh, 1 is given as Sanction speed in our problem, so we are writing this. Second is safe speed, which we have calculated in this problem, and third is third case is speed based on transition length, which we have done in step third. Okay, from there, whichever is uh, less, we have to consider among these three, whichever is less, we have to take for our maximum permissible speed. If we are getting one. 51.234 or 153 154 we have to round up to 150 or one uh, or multiple of 5 always okay hope you understood this kind of problems